Hello, I'm Virginia Pegg, the Volunteer Engagement Manager here at Edmonton's Food Bank. Today we're going to do a tour of our warehouse. So let's start here. This is our loading dock. This is where all the trucks come in and go out. And now we're coming into the main warehouse agency row. This is where different organisations like Hope Mission and the Bissell Centre come to collect food. Here we have our weigh scale. Everything gets weighed whether it's coming in or going out. Here we have our large walk-in freezer. It is racked to the ceiling. There we have all our frozen goods for our clients. We also have three walk-in coolers. These coolers are used to keep food as fresh as possible. This overhead door leads to our distress outside. We separate out our plastics, distress and cardboard, trying to keep our carbon footprint as low as possible. This is our cardboard compactor. We generate a lot of cardboard, so in it goes, it gets squashed down and bailed up and then is collected. Here we have our main warehouse. In here we store pallets, our clean bins that we put produce in. Also we have the food that we purchase. These are our food donations. They come in from supermarkets or it could have been a community event. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> this area is our non-food area. It's where we separate things out such as toys and batteries. We also separate out clothing and blankets. These items are classed as household chemicals and these are the paper products. These items will be donated to other not-for-profits. Back through to the main warehouse into our sorting area. There are very specific rules around sorting. So we have the three-year rule for tins, 30 days for Tetra, and a year for practically everything else. We check to ensure everything is intact. A donation cannot be split or torn or have a hole in it. Once we determine it's good, we then put a black line through the barcode and then we decide what category that food item is in. We have categories for medicals, cooking oil, dog and cat food and other items. We also have liquid distress. Now liquid distress could be something that's out of date or is or looks like alcohol. We also have cereal, it takes up a lot more room so we have boxes for that. This is our repacking area. It's multifunctional depending on what we need to do. It could be repacking eggs, kids snacks, dog and cat food. It could be that we have some potatoes. Come in in bags and a few of them are turning bad. We'd open up the bag, keep the good ones and dispose of the bad so that we're getting as much food as we're able to. This is also the area that we get everyone to wash your hands and put on some gloves. The hamper line is the hub of the warehouse. It is where all the orders come through for our clients. It's where everything is put together and also information. It varies hour to hour depending on what we have. We also do some baby bundles. Those are for new mothers and they can request those. Baby formula is very important to us. If a mother requests a certain brand, we can only give them that brand because babies are very susceptible to changes. We have some small coolers here that we actually put in the yogurts that we're given and that's where we put the eggs as well to keep those as fresh as we're able to. Toilet paper is a request, one per person. Also kids snack, 
products. They're also a request. We have personal hygiene. We also adhere to dietary restrictions. So if somebody is celiac, if they are no pork, also people can tell us if they have allergies or if they need the high protein, if they're diabetic, all of those we try and adhere to. Once the staff and volunteers have gone down the hamper line and filled the hampers as best they can, they will always finish off with bread and pastries. Then the final thing that can be added will be dog or cat food as a request. And then the hampers are put on the correct pallet. Once these are finished, they will go into our cooler to be kept as fresh as possible before being delivered out to the depot location on the correct day. Thank you very much for joining us today as we toured Edmonton's Food Bank Warehouse.